What is happening, everybody? It's Drew with another review. And uh, yes, it's another book. A review of another book. Uh, first, if you're new to the channel, I'm going to be reviewing comic books, games, films, whatnot. And if you're interested, has any recommendations, go ahead and let me know down below. Also, hit the like, follow, all that stuff. All right, so this one's going to be on uh, a book called Observer by Concrete Comics. Now, a few days ago, I read one or two issue of a different comic book that came from Observer, and that was Acolyte. Acolyte was a very interesting book. Now, from the first two issues of that one, I gave it a pretty good rating because I was pretty tuned in. I don't know if my brain is just now starting to be tuned in with books or was the book actually good. We're going to find out once I finish the series. So I'm on issue one here. It's called Arrival of the Wrath of Observer. Observer, if you look at it, it looks like uh, kind of has a, a, a Black Panther spawn type look with the cape. The cape kind of reminds me of spawn. The full suit is kind of a full Black Panther type suit. But it, this is has is not even close. To, if anything, it would be closer to Spawn. But uh, no, nothing with Black Panther. It's just a suit. Uh, so, what is this? What is this? This is some crazy, this is some crazy shit. That's what this is. Uh, <laughs> it talks about the demons and it talks about the heaven. At the very beginning, it goes through a phase where it's kind of just using analogies. Uh, like a school, like a classroom. It's using the analogy of a classroom. You got the bully. You got the quiet kid. You got the, the popular kid. You got the in-between uh, nosy kid that want to know what's going on. And they use that analogy according to what was going on with some of these characters on the streets. And um, uh, so it, it jumps into this situation where uh, Observer, there's a lady. I, I, I didn't quite get her name. I didn't quite get her name. I'd have to refresh and go through the book. She is working next to this guy. And she's trying to, it's almost like they just started, they just started teaming up because she's trying to figure him out. They run into this dead cat. There's a dead cat and he, he, he talks and she's like, oh, look, a dead cat. And he explains how the cat died. He said someone kicked it to death. And uh, so he just, and she's like, what? What are you talking about? He can, it's almost like he can feel the anger and the sadness and the deep situation through this dead cat. He ends up, they end up going to this place, this house where these people are, and this guy's a savage. This guy's an absolute savage. I don't even, I can't even tell you if he's a good guy or a bad guy. And I think that was the, there was a quote that was put there that they used from R.R. R. Martin. It said something like, you can't tell if you're good or evil. Uh, I think the problem is, is trying to figure out if you're good or evil. If, are you doing the right thing or are you doing the wrong thing? I don't know. But I think it's referring to this guy because he's probably conflicted. He might be conflicted <laughs> in what he's supposed to be doing. Uh, but then there's like these other people too that are pretty much demons. I guess human wa on, on walking demons. And he's probably supposed to be the... I don't know. I want to say sacrificial lamb. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know, man. I, he's... I wouldn't. I wouldn't say he's an angel. That's for damn sure. Uh, <laughs> but it hasn't really got to that part. But he did go in there and do some damage to some people. He even came in there and, uh, in that house. He attacked one guy that was sleeping. And she's like, "Is that the guy that did something to the cat?" She tried to figure it out. The other guy is in there about to smash some chick, and it, the guy's like, "So it turns out the chick is probably like a prostitute or something, like a uh, uh, because." based off the conversation and he goes in there and disrupts that whole situation i think he even kills the other guy i i can't be for sure i didn't really uh i i kind of got a blurry blurry bl bl kind of like a blurry vision of did it actually show the guy dead but it showed him attack both of them uh this is this is some wild um uh, it's it's a it's I think it's good, though. I think it's actually good. Um, I, I would like to talk to the writer of this. <laughs> so let's see where his head was. Because it, it's actually pretty good. You know, so no reason why I would talk to him. Because this is it's, it's weird of me. This might sound a little, uh, I want to say, stereotype. 
stereotype about people, right? If this guy is, who's the artist? Uh, and I forgot to mention all that. Sorry about that. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Uh, Jamel Leslie, created by Jamel, Jamel Lessie. Story by Jamel Leslie, written by Jamel Leslie. Okay, that sounds like the guy that we need to speak to. So yeah, the Jamel sounds like a black guy. Uh, I know that's that defeats that has nothing to do with nothing, but we could make it about that. But no, the reason I'm saying this is because I could be a stereotype against my own people because these are not the type of books that that you see uh, most black artists writing. Uh, not not in this nature, the nature of this book. But I like that. I want to see more people be creative like that. Have that deeper thought, creative mindset that digs deeper, that goes further than just uh the typical stuff we see. And that's what happened with this one, and that's why I really enjoyed it because it's like, wow, this guy really has a, he has it here. He's he's going, he's bringing you something and. Yes, uh, I really like this, so I went ahead and uh, I went ahead and ordered the next two issues. I think there's only three issues of this, and I want to finish it because yes, this is this is really good. And uh, based off this first one, uh, since I did not read two, uh, I, I can I'm going to go ahead and give this one an eight as well because the art is fantastic the details and the narrating slash dialogue all, all together is very very uh draws me in and then the crazy shit that's going on in here really kind of just has me like wow what what is going on here so jamel lessie man good job and uh i'm definitely going to check out the, the, the other the rest of it and if y'all continue to make these I'll, I'll check them out. I'll do a review and uh, I'll support them. So, uh, deuces.